Hello everybody, it's Nicole from Ikiwi. Happy Friday! And today I have a challenge video. So today I'm doing the 10 minute challenge. And um, first off I want to say that I already recorded one before, but I didn't really like where it was going or how it turned out. So I did it again. And this time it was definitely much more challenging than last time. And I'll explain why later. So first off, I want to say that this video is all real time, so you'll see um, how quickly I do the skeleton and how long it takes for me to do the refining of the sketch and outlining, etc. So for my first recording that I did, um, I did it really quickly. I had about five minutes left over after I finished it and I tried to add more detail, but it didn't look as good. You could tell that it was rushed. So I wanted to give it another go and try something that is more towards what I would try to do for a finished product. Now, since it is limited to 10 minutes, it was definitely not perfect. And I wouldn't say any of my other drawings are perfect, but they're a lot more refined and drafted out and I take more time with the anatomy and with giving detail and such. But the 10 minutes and the timer ticking down definitely put on pressure. <laughs> so originally I wasn't really going in with a certain idea. I went in with a basic pose that um, I had in mind but I didn't know what to do with it. So when you see me adding in all the other details like hair and the clothes and accessories, that was all just on the spot trying to make up something. And I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I'm probably not at that part of the video yet, but I usually just do a rough um, sketch and outline of the ideas that I had so that I would know what to outline in the future. Usually I don't refine every single detail because I know I can add it in when outlining, but sometimes I'll add in some things that need to be um, refined such as perspective shots and the facial details that I'm not too confident about adding in with pen. Ultimately I ended up with this kind of futuristic dance club girl or something <laughs> as she has asymmetrical hair and uh, these interesting goggles and some made up dress that I thought was easier to draw compared to making it really flowy and such. So. A lot of the decisions that I made were because of time, so I didn't add a lot of detail to the clothing or the accessories or the figure just because of time. Now if I were to expand on this character, I'd probably add a lot more detail and more to the clothes and accessories. I do like how she turned out. I think it looks pretty cool for what I got done. <laughs> um, before the time ended, I added in just a little bit of color. I did run out of time um, when adding in the blues, but I like how it turned out. I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
Thank you.